So we're now taking the scenic route. Look, there's a beautiful church and some lovely lanes because we may have taken the wrong direction. No, we haven't. I, I've corrected your wrong direction. Corrected our wrongdoing. We've been arguing. Tess is not impressed. I know, it's not. We're just like, I don't know this road now, isn't it? I'm not sure where we're going to go now. I don't think any of us are sure where we're going to go now, but let me take yeah. you around. You can see what we're driving through. Uh, how many miles on this road? We have got too many miles on this road. The important thing is we got there in the end. Had a lovely breakfast of eggs Benedict with some bacon in Frankie and Benny's. And then we were ready to board the plane to Spain. And there were lots of stag and hen heading to Benidorm because that's the airport, well, Alicante, that we were flying into. About to board. Welcome to Espania. I just drove us here from the airport. I say that with excitement because I don't like driving abroad. We're crossing. Hang on. Oh. And now we're going to get killed walking across the road. I'm staying. Jeff, I'm not coming with you. He's being silly. We found a central crossing. We're doing that. The sensible way. I have no battery. We need to get some sun cream because it's very hot and I'll catch up with you when we have some pinchos or tapas. To the beach. How excited am I? Oh, oh <laughs> I didn't think the car was going to stop and it was going to knock them over but it did wait for them. You already got a cast, big Z boy. Good morning and greetings from Spain. We are staying in this lovely apartment on this absolutely gorgeous golf course. It's very early so we've taken a little walk and the reason why I'm talking so quietly because I don't know wake anybody up. We're going to the shop to get some breakfast. We're staying in Murcia I'll probably find out a little bit more about the area and tell you about that later. But for now, let's go shopping. So spotted on our walk, some aloe vera, there's lots of them. And there's also, when I go back up there, I'll show you. There was um, a lime tree right outside where Darren and June's house uh, apartment is. Well, I think we're nearly there. Where? Oh, we're kind of a little bit lost. We don't know our bearings yet. So we're going to try and navigate our way to the shop. But I've seen somebody with a French stick, so I know it's this way somewhere. So I'm just going to fill you in on some of the things I've noticed. So it looks kind of deserty, but there's these lovely plants everywhere. So there's lots of flowers to see en route. Lots of lovely trees. But like I say, it is very deserty. I guess that's the, the Spanish look, isn't it? It looks gorgeous, mind. Look at all the palm trees. Beautiful, and there's my lovely Jeff. <laughs> so just very quickly, a little bit about this resort. There are 17 swimming pools. There's lots of, it's, it's quite a sort of newly developed area. So there's lots of units up for rent, but apparently somebody's bought all of them and is now gonna put things in and rent them all. This here is Spanglish, and this is the bar we were sat in last night, right there actually. And that goes just down here. So I think this and the shop we're going to, which is a spa, are possibly the only two, or there's only a couple of them that are rented out at the moment. So this is really busy because obviously this is where everyone comes to meet in the evenings, have some food, have some drinks, and then the spa that I'm going to take you to now. So there we are, that's the front of the bar. That is the front of the spa. <laughs> So, popping into the shop, waiting for Jeff at the moment. I think the plan for today is we are going to a mountain 
where they serve very nice meals that you can't find out what the menu is until you get there. So that should be lovely and a lot of fun and very hot because it is now 8.30 in the morning and we are already melting. But there's no change there because that is me in general. And there is a beautiful lime tree I was telling you about. Beautiful. Back to the apartment we've been to spa. Jeff is carrying the bread. I've just broken my shoes. Lucky I've got another pair with me. Back at the apartment. I'm going to turn you around and show you how well maintained, maintained, I can't even talk, these lovely grounds are. And get my sunglasses. Well, buy some because I haven't got any because Tasha stole them. And those at the moment are looking so inviting. But... The pool is just here to my left, so we're going to be making our way over there soon. But look how lovely this looks. So it is a working golf course. People do come here to play golf. Um, you do have to have a separate membership, they told us yesterday. But look how lovely that is. And look how red Beck is. Well, I said I was taking you with me to the pool, and then I went to the pool, and I didn't even show you it. So we are now back. We're going to get ready. I may be a little bit tanned. I've used Fafta Factor 50, so we're going to get ready now. We're going to a mountain restaurant for our lunch, so there's going to be some lovely views. We've got Mr Biggs out here drinking his... What are you having? Beer? Tess has been in the shower. She's already ready. I need to go I'm in because... Oh, he's watching the golfers. Oh, are they golfers there now? Yeah, they just pulled away now. Oh, there's golfers on the golf course. Obviously, that's where they would be because that would sound really weird if they weren't there, wouldn't it? I'll see if I can show. Oh, I can show you. Hang on, they are. I see them over there. Look. Be just over here somewhere. Video, so. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, they're all down there enjoying the golf course. It's cool. It's a little bit cooler for now. It Always is. Yeah, the sun was on. The sun was here first thing this morning. Yeah, it was yeah. boiling in there. But now the doors are open, the windows are open, the breeze is just coming through, and it's beautiful. So getting ready, we are. I will show you where we go for our lovely lunch. you around so you can see properly. Oh look at that. Yeah, oh guys, this is a nice photo. I'm gonna take a photo of you all now. So that is the view. This is the beautiful restaurant we're going to. And apparently they serve rabbit. I'm not gonna be eating rabbit. But it is an authentic Spanish restaurant, so it's not a place that um, many tourists come, I guess, unless, well, they probably do because word of mouth and all that. But I am really looking forward to this, so I'm going to show you what the menu is like, the prices, and let's go!
in the resort and let me let, let me tell you a little secret back at the resort we've been for a lovely meal a very authentic Spanish experience and what an amazing experience it was so we ended up going to the lovely restaurant we didn't realize that they were actually closing at three so we walked in just as they were closing but we didn't know this until afterwards until after we'd eaten after they'd served us and then they said to us um just to let you know that usually we don't serve from three o'clock until seven o'clock but we'd already eaten at this point so had they told us we probably wouldn't have expected to stay and we wouldn't have minded just leaving and coming back a different day but because there were so many of us they said they made an exception and it cost us 11 euros each we had bread and salad to start then we chose from a set menu and you don't know what is going to be on that menu until the day so we had or i had um spaghetti to start after the salad and the bread then chicken with the chips and then coffee we had a bonbon or coffee bonbon i think it was called for afters and it came to 11 euros each which is flipping outstanding and the food was gorgeous it was a lovely experience i did wonder why it was so quiet and say that and the reason was because obviously they were closed and we didn't know so how lovely was that they have said that they're fully booked for tomorrow and for sunday so if you need to to go there we need to we need to book in advance next time which we will be doing if we need to go back <laughs> Out for the evening and we are on a different resort but just next door and they've got a little market going on, like a night market. So I'm bringing you with me so you can see what this night market is like and it looks very nice. I'm not actually going to a golf property store. We're going to go and have a look at the mat for the other site to see what it's going to look like or what the plans are for the development. We've come in for a little wander around the back. They've got a lovely lake here. There's so many restaurants. There's a buffet restaurant here. There's loads of restaurants and bars around the front end. And we're just gonna have a little wander, see what else this has got to offer, and then make our way back there to everybody else and sit down and have a cup of wait, cuppa, a drink, not a cuppa, where everybody else is sat around that area. So this is 10 minutes away. Did I already say this? 10 minutes away from where they live. I should face that way so you can actually see me. 10 minutes away from where, not they live, from where their apartment is. And then you can drive onto here because it's all part of the same thing. And you can just spend the evening here, taxi, or you can drive if you want to. But how lovely is it? Beautiful. And there's even this lovely fish and chip restaurant and this gorgeous cafe bar with this beautiful decor. The night we were there, they had a lovely Elton John tribute artist. It's probably really dark Can and you can't it? see an awful lot, but that right there is the back of the Hilton Hotel. So if you walk around the front, obviously it's the front of the Hilton Hotel. Thanks, June. Where are you going? June, where are you hiding? June! <laughs> Who? The artist is in there. 
So when oh, and they've got an artist when here. When we come in, we go in here for food, and then we sit at the back and we the artist. Oh, what June just said then was when they go in there for food, they sit at the back and they can hear the artist singing in the Hilton Hotel. I brought you around so you can hear her singing. But it does look lovely. And she sounds lovely too. And you probably can't see it, but there's a lake here. And that's where the hotel is, just on the lake, I guess. This is Spanglish. And this is the bar that we went to if we'd been out all day or if we'd just been chilling all day. This is the place that we came to just to have a nice relaxing drink. I think they do some food as well, but we didn't actually eat there. But it's this, it's honestly, it's enormous. It's got a lovely seating area outside. The night after this, there was a lovely ABBA tribute. And as you can see, there's lots of room for dancing. And we got up and had a little boogie and it was loads of fun.